So, the third element of the Moral Moments Project is community conversation. So here we are in this beautifully alive space with real people walking around and I'm making a video to talk to you about not making conversation, but allowing conversation to happen. It's great to know you're thinking. It's great to figure out how you're thinking. It's great to pull together your reactions and your responses, but then what do you do with them? As a teacher, the most beautiful aspect of this course, and we know this from the data, is how the conversations are both managed, handled, and allowed in your class. It's a beautiful thing to have a conversation, but it's a skill to allow that conversation to happen. So for all of us, there's some key elements of allowing that get to be understood. Permission is one thing. I suggest that you, as a teacher, ask the students to create a space where their own social agreements are part of how they interact with each other. So as a cool exercise, before you even start having a community conversation about something, set up not some boundaries, but some clear understanding of what having a conversation looks like, sounds like, feels like. My class has said vulnerability, telling the truth, being willing to fail at the conversation. Those things made their space safe. So the number one thing about having a conversation be allowed in a space is understanding that everybody has to buy into the agreement. Ask them what they want to happen, have them figure it out, and then start a conversation. I'll give you a few exercises in the next show. After your students have made a social agreement about what it means to allow a conversation to take place, do something very simple. Have the students actually look at each other, really, eye to eye contact, just go around the room and make sure that everyone sees everyone sitting next to them. Then do an interesting exercise. Ask them who isn't there, who is not here, who is absent from the table, who is absent from the room. This kind of observation really lets you know that the students are seeing both their peers and who's not there. After that, after everyone sees everyone, have the students actively listen to what's happening in the room. What sounds can they identify? Can they identify someone's breathing? Can they identify the sound of a plane going overhead outside the building? Because once you set up a space where students are seeing each other and listening to the sounds of the room, then those students are going to be able to receive the stories that a student might want to tell. We began this conversation about communication in an open public space, actually in front of a coffee shop. The next exercise is really cool because we call it the coffee shop exercise. Have the students create three questions which you can ask somebody in front of you, behind you, or beside you in a coffee shop. Those questions get to be sort of surface questions, but questions that open up a conversation with that person. The women will come up with three very different questions than the men, and that's a conversation to have. Why are the questions that are safe for women to hear different than the questions that are safe for men to hear, or for men to ask women, or for women to ask men? The conversation really starts getting rolling from there. So once you set up a space to open a conversation, once people see each other, once they listen, once they begin to create questions that are safe, dare to have your students go to the corner coffee shop, a movie theater, to your local student union, and take the dare of standing in a line or sitting next to someone they don't know and asking a question with the hopes that a conversation will be allowed between two people. This is all a great experiment. Just like filming outside with the wind, with the air, with the sun, 
with the people. This course is about a living exercise and exercising what it means to live. Find some questions, dare to ask them, and you will be on the road, the path that the Moral Moments Project hopes to lay out for you.